Hey, gang, it's Ron from ITMaskey.com, and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So I got a story. You want to hear it? Here it goes. So long, 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 long time ago, when I started my certification journey, I stumbled across a certification called A+. So this certification, from the research I did and everybody I talked to, should be the first certification I should go after, right? If I want to be an IT pro, I needed to be A plus certified. So once I made up my mind on getting certified, I just studied, I probably studied for maybe three to four weeks um, max. And I actually was going a little bit too hard and doing a little bit too much. And um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. So um, I went in after about three and a half weeks of studying. I was studying for uh, both parts at the same time, which is um, a terrible idea. So if you don't know, the A plus is a two part exam. So you got to take the first one and then you got to take the second part and then you're fully plus certified, fully A plus certified. So if you take one without the other, uh, you don't have anything. So um, I studied for both at the same time, which is something that I tell none of my damn students um, to do. So pretty much that's why I'm telling you, you know, so you have to go through the same shit. So I study, 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 study. And I took the first part, I took the first part and I crushed it. I killed it. Um, I think I was only in there for maybe 45 minutes. Got a really good score and pretty much thought that, you know, the second part can't be that much harder, right? It can't be that much, can't be that much harder. So what I was supposed to do was take the second part the next day. But, you know, uh, since I'm so damn smart, I decided, you know what, let me just knock it out right now. So I went in the testing center and said, hey, man, is it cool? You know, if you got any spots open, can I just take the, uh, the second part right now? He was like, yeah, no problem. Man. So I go inside um, of the second part and I'm talking about from the beginning. I knew it was a wrap. Like the first couple questions, I, I didn't know what the hell they were talking about because uh, I was still kind of geared and thinking about the first part, right? You got to remember that it's two different tests, completely two different tests. Um, one part is focusing on specific stuff and then the other part is focusing on other stuff. So the A plus has so much shit on it that that's why they split it up because it's so much stuff. It's way too much stuff to be on one exam. So anyway, I'm in there sweating, uh, nervous, and I just knew, I just knew it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work out well. So, um, I went ahead and uh, click submit when I got done with the actual um, exam, and of course I bombed it. I, I failed it. It wasn't it wasn't terrible. Um, so you need a six. What do you need a six seventy five? Once so you need a six seventy five to pass the second part, and I maybe got in uh, the high five hundreds or the low six hundreds. So one of the reasons why I think this happened is because my brain was just burnt out. You know, it takes so much focus, it takes so much time, it takes so much of your energy to be in this unfamiliar place uh, with somebody staring at you the whole time. You're nervous. Uh, you know, sometimes your brain goes blank. And then, like I said, it took so much mental energy to knock out the first part that I didn't really have um, the mental energy to even focus on the second part. I kind of I um, wouldn't say I gave up, but I kind of didn't give a damn, you know, halfway through because it's like, ugh, it just, all of the stuff just seemed foreign. Um, so, good news is I could recollect enough stuff to at least get, you know, a decent score. It wasn't a passing score, but if I would have got like in the threes or the fours, I probably would have, uh, probably would have never took the test again, to be honest. So, that is my advice to you. Um, if you are trying to get an IT, first piece of advice is make sure that you knock out A plus first. Second part is make sure that you do not study for both parts at the same time. Focus on one part, the first part, knock that out, and then start studying for the second part. And even if you're super duper smart, even if you work in the field, because when I took A+, I was working in IT for about four years, right? And that experience helped me maybe a little bit but the way that the questions are structured on a plus like if i don't went in there without studying just thinking that i was you know okay i'm, I'm up, i got a job it's what i do i'd be able to knock this out now nah, i would have failed that shit miserably so just make sure no matter how much experience that you have make sure that you study up 
on the actual exam because um, they're not easy. They're not diff- uh, they're not uh, they're not uh, easy at all. They're pretty difficult. Um, and a lot of that difficulty comes from the way that they ask the questions and then it's a timed exam, right? You can get a maximum of 90 questions and you got 90 minutes. So that's one minute per question, right? And if you don't know what the hell going on, um, that cannot uh, seem like enough time. So um, my second uh, tidbit of advice, like I said, is not to take both tests in the same day. Um, I actually try and have my students uh, space it out with shit for about maybe a week in between. Now, some students, um, they'll take it the next day, but I would say at a minimum, that's what you should do. Uh, or if you think you're super duper, at least wait until, you know, take the first part in the morning and take um, the second part of the afternoon or the evening. I wouldn't even advise to do that. But if you do, you do need that space. You do need that time to take a breather um, to, you know, collect yourself and collect your thoughts. So when you go in there, uh, you're fully prepared with all of um, your brain power. So um, if you're looking to get certified, start with a plus. Um, and I pretty much uh, making this a uh, recording just so you know, or making this episode just so you know that failure is going to happen. It's pretty much part of the process. Um, if you're not failing, you're probably not learning. If you're not failing, failing, you're probably not doing anything, right? Because um, if you want to be safe, if you want to, you know, live a life of uh, boredom and not achieving your goals, then don't try anything because you'll never fail. But if you're trying to better yourself, if you're trying to level up. Um, you definitely um, are going to fail and you're probably going to fail often. But the good news is there's always lessons in uh, your failures. So just make sure that, you know, whatever you messed up on, that you work on those things and that you um, learn from them. So like I said, um, nobody's exempt from failure, including me, even though I've been teaching this shit for uh, almost 13, 14 years. Got all these certifications, got all these students taught. I can still fail an exam because like I said, um, if they were easy, everybody would have them. You know, if they were just easy, just going to take the test, everybody would be certified. And then the payoff of all that hard work, all that studying is that you get a good job, a good high paying job, and you can keep on uh, doing what you need to do. So like I said, um, if you have failed recently, um, don't worry about it. Uh, Brush yourself off. if you're not subscribed to the Master IT uh, YouTube channel, make you make sure you do that. I a lot of times I put up little test prep and little stuff to be supplementary to whatever you're currently using to study. Um, but if you're looking for a full A plus course, um, we got one. Uh, people are enrolling every day, passing every day uh, at itmasterkey.com. Uh, comes with um, a full course and the voucher to take the actual exam. So hopefully uh, this motivated you. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight of uh, what you should expect on the A-plus exam. Other than that, I'll see you in class.